from Learn Guitar in London.com playing Half the World Away by Oasis. Um, my first Oasis song, I was a huge Oasis fan when uh, I was growing up. It's a big reason I kind of got into playing guitar and singing and being a musician. Um, this is one of their B-sides that I absolutely love. Um, so I'm going to get straight into the lesson. Uh, there's a few chords that we need to go through. I'm going to show you how to do each chord. If you know how to do the chord, then just go for it. Um, and I will take you through the rhythm guitar as well, and then we'll play the whole song. Great little song. So we're starting the uh, song on a C chord. Okay. Um, now a C chord, for those of you who don't know how to make it, um, you put your first finger down on the first fret on the B string, your second finger down on the um, second fret on the D string and your third finger down on the A string on the third fret. If you don't know the names of the strings, like I'm labelling them with the letters, then just think Eddie A Dynamite Good by Eddie. E A D G B E. So that's your C chord. And for the C chord you're strumming the bottom four strings. Good idea to use a plectrum in this one. It does sound best with a plectrum. And make sure you're holding your plectrum with your thumb and your first finger. So try not to use these other fingers on there, it just keeps things a lot more natural, okay? Good, so that's the beginning, and then what we're doing is we're changing to an F major 7, which isn't as hard as it sounds. All you're doing is you're taking this shape, so always think of chords as shapes, so stretching over three frets, and you're moving these fingers down, okay? So you're still keeping this first finger here, and you're on second fret on the G string, and third fret on the D string now, okay? And with that chord, you strum the bottom four strings, okay? Now, we've kind of got the intro there now, so that's the beginning of the song. So let's talk about what the rhythm pattern is, okay? So with the right hand, it's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. tempo, try this. Down, miss, down, up, miss, up, down, up, down, miss, down, up, miss, up, down, up. It's a good idea to miss because what that's doing is that's keeping your time, your inner timing going, okay? And that's keep, and just to do the misses on the strums is a really good idea. We call those ghost strums, okay? So down, miss, down, up, miss, up, down, up, down, miss, down, up, miss, up, down, up. Now there's one other strumming pattern in the song, but essentially that's the pattern that you're going to need, all right? Changing from C to F major seven. So C, down, up, up, down, up, F major seven. And try to get used to changing chords whilst keeping this hand moving. Don't stop this hand to change chord. So don't go, um, okay? Obviously at first that will happen, but try to just keep your hand moving through that rhythm pattern, all right? Good. So we've then got this part. I can feel the so there is a slightly different rhythm pattern there. <clears throat> so we go back to a C. So this is your C chord. Then we're changing to a C slash B, which isn't as hard as it sounds. All we're doing is we're lifting up this finger, okay? And we're putting your middle finger on top onto the A string on the second fret whilst keeping our first finger here, okay? So that's the chord you've got. And you strum the bottom five strings like you do, like, like you've done before with the C. So it's from the C, it's down, down, up. Then change to your new chord, the C slash B. Down, down, up. Okay, it's what we call a bass run. It leads to A minor as well. So it's down, down, up, down, down, up. 
imagine a new rhythm pattern, which you'll probably actually find easier, okay, than the, than the consistent pattern. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Then we go to A minor. Once again, leaving the first finger here, okay? Move your middle finger down from the A string to the D string, and then tuck your third finger underneath it, um, underneath your second finger on the G string on the second fret, and you strum the bottom five strings, and you're back to your regular rhythm pattern there. So that's down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay? So I'll go from the C. So we're going to go down, down, up, C slash B, A minor, back to a pattern. Then we're changing to a D. We're nearly there, I will recap all this verse in just a minute, okay? So then we're changing to a D. So we do need to lift up our fingers this time. That's the beauty about the beginning. We don't really need to lift them up too much. C, F major 7, C, C slash B, A minor. It's not, we don't ever need to move this finger, which is cool. So for the D, we're going to put our first finger on the G string on the second fret, our middle finger on the second fret on the thinner string, the E string, and then our third finger coming over on the third fret on the um, B string. Some people like to call this, well, I've got a student, a younger student who calls this the finger sandwich because you're kind of grabbing all your fingers together, okay? That's great. And what you do is you strum the bottom four strings for this, okay? And it's back to just your regular rhythm pattern like we've done from A minor. So it's down, down, up, up, down, up, then back to F major 7. Okay, so let's talk about what that whole verse is, okay? So first of all, you're doing that same rhythm pattern, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. Okay, so it's a C first, F major 7, C, F major 7, back to C, new rhythm, down, C slash B, down, down, up, then to A minor, back to your regular rhythm. D, F major 7. Now I didn't do it in the performance at the beginning of the song, but then you just do that verse round in a circle. So you go back to C, F major 7, C, F major 7, so on and so forth, okay? And then we're on to the chorus. The chorus, once again, the rhythm is exactly the same as we'd be doing in the verse, okay? There's, there's no down, down, up, down in this part. It's just, it's just a couple of new chords. So we're starting on an A minor. We've already been through that, so down. So that's just A minor, down, up, da, down, the C, da, da. So we're just kind of going in reverse, really. It's your A minor, just moving that third finger up. Brilliant if you're a beginner and you want to get into strumming. And then we're going to an E chord. Okay, so an E chord from the C, always try to show the most economical way possible of changing between chords. You don't have to flap your fingers around and move too much. So here's your C, move your first finger up to the G string, then bring your middle finger onto the second fret on the A string, and then third finger tucked underneath on the D string. Okay, there's your E chord. And then we're strumming that down, down, up, up, down, up. I don't know why I keep saying that, it's the same rhythm throughout the whole thing. And then we go back to A minor. Easy change. This is your E. Think of it as a shape. We're going to move that shape down the strings. Okay, simple as that. Okay, so the first line of the chorus is A minor, C, E, A minor. F major 7 is the next line. Okay, so it's F major 7. D, so G is a new chord for this song. So this is how I do a G. You know what guys, I strongly recommend you do this way that I do a G because it strengthens your little finger. Being a good guitarist is about getting that little finger strong. I don't mind if you've learnt it this way, that's cool, but this way will strengthen your little finger, so I strongly suggest you give it a go. And also, it's going to be easier to change to the next chord that we're going to need after this in the song. So middle finger on the second fret on the A string, third finger on the thickest string on the third fret, and then little finger, as weird as it may feel, but it's strengthening your little finger, it's making you a better guitarist, on the third fret on the thinnest string, okay? And you strum all six strings for that one. And then we're changing to a G7. G7 is very easy from this chord shape, okay? You just lift up this finger and you put your first finger down on the first fret, okay? And leave these fingers where they are. So it's G, G7. 
strategy this way, it's a much bigger change with your fingers, okay? So just try it that way, it'll strengthen your finger. Good, and then we go back to A minor. So one, you see. line of the chorus and then we're on to our F major 7 twice this time so we're doing it for what we call two bars that's two um, passes of the down down up up down up so F major 7 then we're on to an F minor okay so F minor a little bit more intermediate okay if you're good at bar chords it's going to be okay if you're not so I'm going to show you two ways of doing it so this is the way that Noel does it so you take your first finger, you press down all six strings, bring your thumb around the back of the guitar, press as hard as you can. And then use your third finger on the third fret on the A string and little finger underneath on the D, D string on the third fret. And you strum all six strings. Okay? If you're finding that too tricky, so if you're a complete beginner and you think bar chords are just really difficult, they do take practice and muscle building and strength then there is one other way you can do it. It doesn't sound quite like the record, but it still sounds good enough for you to sing to. And what you do is you just take your first finger and just press down the first fret on the E, B, and G strings, so the bottom three strings, and you just strum the bottom four, the bottom three. Okay, so you're making a partial chord, there's just the triad of the F minor. But it sounds good enough, okay? So that's your F minor, you just do that once. And then, well, I said that there wasn't a change of rhythm pattern, but there is. It's just, it's doing the C, C slash B part again. So it's down, down, up, down, down, up, A minor. So that's just, just C, C slash B, like I explained earlier in the video, and then A minor. And then D, F major 7. Okay, so I'll take it through the whole chorus. I'll sort of sing it in the background so we can put it into perspective, okay? So it's A minor. Here I go C. And then E. A minor. F major 7. D. And G. G7. the song you just go round back to a verse and then do another chorus and then that's it that's the whole song okay so that is the whole lesson thank you very much for listening if you've enjoyed these lessons you've enjoyed um, the style the way that I'm teaching then go to my website there's loads of free lessons there and you could you could sign up to the student area it just takes an email address and then you've got 10 tips on how to become a better guitarist um, and just loads of free resources. I know there's free resources all over the internet, but just go and check mine out. If you'd like this style of teaching and the way that I'm putting the lessons together, then that's the website for you, so go over there. Um, okay, that is everything. Also, subscribe to me if you've liked what I've done, and if you've made it this far, I'm sure you have. So, uh, take care and see you again soon. Bye.